Jane is 26 and in August moves to Nottingham for her new job in the HR department at Corpco, one of the few companies currently hiring after its UK division won several large contracts to provide the government's big society. She rents a new flat in the lace market, shiny, furnished and the size of a large shoebox. When Jane moves in, there is a letter waiting for her from Electra, the energy provider, which she opens immediately. It tells her that the flat has an energy monitoring toolkit built in, keeping Electra informed of Jane's energy usage in real time. Jane is given a number of different energy plans to choose from, each of which is explained in simple terms in the literature. She informs Electra of her choice, but a month later Electra calls back. Under the latest energy regulations, they have to offer her the cheapest package possible based on the energy data they receive from her flat. Their analysis shows that she could save 10% by switching to a different plan, which she's more than happy to do. This cheaper plan includes having Electra's Energy Management Gizmo installed. This tablet device syncs with the energy monitoring system in the flat and provides, via an animated cat character, suggestions on when energy is cheap and Jane can afford to use more, and when, during peak system demand, she shouldn't. Over the next couple of months, Jane finds herself growing strangely fond of the cute little gizmo and his advice. She's always been one for planning ahead, and so using energy when gizmo says it's cheapest becomes second nature. When she follows his advice, he grins and purrs. She even finds herself looking forward to the times when gizmo encourages her to use energy, when it's very cheap. It's like getting something for free. During this period, Jane's office moves from the city centre to a commercial park on the outskirts. There's no public transport stopping nearby, so she needs a car. The electric car she chooses is expensive, but undeniably cool and eco-friendly. Besides, without the ever-increasing cost of petrol to worry about, it starts to pay back for itself immediately. In fact, by signing up to Electra's smart car plan, which lets them use the car's battery when Jane isn't using it, it costs nothing to charge it up. Driving to work in a swish, silent new car turns out to be a great way to start the day. In January, Jane's new boyfriend Kev begins to stay over more often. His flat is on the other side of the city, and besides, they love spending every minute that they can together. Gizmo notices a change in the flat's energy profile and suggests that Jane call Electra, as she may no longer be getting the best deal possible. Just having two people in the flat raises demand. Plus, Kev is not one for planning, or for that matter, being told when to shower by a weird little green cat. The guy on Electra's helpline suggests that Kev could bring his energy plan with him from his flat and merge it with Jane's, which sounds sensible to Kev. Jane continues to pay what she paid previously, and the difference in energy use is charged to Kev's plan, for which he receives a separate bill. Kev continues to ignore Gizmo's advice, and refer to him as the weird cat. But, as it's him paying the price, Jane couldn't care less. Everyone is happy. Even Gizmo has a smile.